me. And everything became 20 times better because now I could calmly react because I'm not looking to you to provide that no more. I'm providing it for myself. So how I feel is no longer constantly triggered by what you do or don't do. I can actually take a step back and be like, okay, well, why is it bothering you? And just try to understand because now I'm happy about my team. I'm gonna put my thing aside, do with you, go back to my happiness. <laughs> Already learned to hold myself back. But some of my mind might be like, no, then why be in a relationship? Then if I can make myself happy, then what's the point? Like I want someone to be happy with or make me happy. I want something. And my position has always been expectation kills relationship. That's what my assumption has been. Mm-hmm, because, mm-hmm. because I feel like if you have an expectation, I call it conditional, conditional, because if the conditions in which I'm happy require you to be a certain way and you're a human being, which means you're probably not going to always be that certain way. Now I'm unhappy in your own happiness. Can a relationship really survive off of that? Because the, the underlying thing here is that I don't think a relationship can survive off of expecting things from your partner. Because people talk about love language and if you can't do this and I do that, because when we listen to the women at the Queen's Wall, that was the energy I got slightly, <laughs> was like, then you might need to divorce. I'm like, whoa, 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 the D word. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why yeah. is it that simple that yeah. if you don't get what you want, he's not fulfilling this love tank and he refuses to change, then they, I can't, then love doesn't exist here anymore. But I'm just like, well, I'm not here to be exactly what you want me to be. That's been, but what's your thoughts anyway? That's something I've been sharing with my wife. I'm that is like, proper interesting, you know, because that yeah. that is a, this is a big one that goes, yeah. like with the seasons, it changes and no man is supposed to be here for you. And you know, like, so does yeah. it fill you up? Does he 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 fill you up? I'm like, we, we all like, our relationships, right? I was like, bro. Like, what the heck? You know and it's mean? so quick to dismiss in a certain way. And not to even critique like that. I'm just saying I'm seeing a pattern somewhere. And I'm just curious to see if you've seen that pattern where the advice women tend to give each other always misses some in underlying universal principles. It can't be if you're not getting what you want from him, if you're not fulfilled, if he's not, if he's not, it's always about what the man doesn't do, then he may not be fit for you. You might have to be strong to move on. I'm like, this is a marriage. This, what are we talking about here? It shouldn't be so simple because it's that conditional thing and that I've tried to get out of my marriage, which is, I don't care how you are. My love should not waver based on your condition or our conditioning. But um, yeah, what's your thoughts anyway? Now there's a couple of, there's, there's a, there's a d- d- side about the, the get moving on as well. I want to definitely come back to that because that comes with, a, that comes with an expensive price that a lot of women in the community are kind of finding out, especially the more mature women, right. um, in, mature in age. But um, yeah, I think my, my perception of it and kind of coming from a clinical spe- perspective is that you are responsible for yourself. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Your ambitions, your drives, your desires, you know, your, 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 your reflections, your fantasies, your imagination, all these different things are you as an individual. Mm. So you're responsible for that. But mm. you're interdependent. You're not dependent or independent. You're not one or the other. Because, you know, that some it's people different. are totally de- dependent. Some people mm. are totally dependent, mm. right? And it's like they're need. When we, when we say, oh, she's so needy because, you know, everything, you know, she's on the phone, mm. you know, you, you just need emotional need, everything. Mm. You've got to be like carrying this person, which mm. is very, we use the term needy, colloquially, right? Or you've got this kind of person who's a bit cold and independent, like, mm. they don't really need nothing, you know? I like, said, so let me buy you one of that. No, I'm all right, I don't, no, 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 don't get it. You know, they, yeah, yeah. they don't need nothing. They're almost aloof, they're not mostly available. Yeah. Right, that's another extreme. Mm. So in the, in t- her dependent is that like, mm. you know, that's in the sense that I'm responsible for my happiness, right? But mm. like, I get so much from her. It enhances me so much. It helps mm. me to go to the next level, mm. not without her. I'm a cripple, but mm. without, but, but I get so much. So this is, I'm going to invest in this, this relationship. Yeah. And likewise, yeah. she's a person that is strong in her own right and clear and has clarity in her own right. But I just bring something to the table that takes her to the next level. And so this thing is good for both of us. It works and that that's how it's supposed to be. But okay. I think it's too much pressure mm. to put on either person. You know, like they're yeah. responsible for my happiness. You know what I mean? Like yeah. life, career, social life, family, um, extended family. There's all these different things going on where things can be good. And you can say, you know something right now, like I've got some issues in my relationship, but it doesn't like nullify the happiness in my life because it's not, my whole life isn't defined by my marriage, for example, or my relationship. 
So there's some stuff that we need to work and we need to talk and we need to get to, a, I want to get to a certain point where it's good. It's good again, because we're going for a mm. rough patch. It's not mm. a thing of like, you know what? I'm not happy because is this, this relationship is this aspect of relationship. We're going through some stuff. So you know what? Let me think about what's out there still, you know, because I think <laughs> Tinder and TikTok and, you know, like I'm get another month or so, but after that, I've got to have a contingency plan. Because I think that, I think a lot of modern women are, have been, been stitched up, man. I think there's mm. a culture, the society, the, as I said, some of these ideas of, of feminism, not equal wages and not equal choice. I'm not talking about that, but you know, these kind of anti-men and this kind of women is everything and the whole wide world. They, they've been kind of like a little bit, they've been stitched up, man. They've been mm. bumped. Like obviously some of them jump out of relationships when they did have Mr. Right, but maybe need to work through it. And they thought mm. they was, they was, they, they thought there was some cue of, I don't know, like NBA millionaire basketball players and, <laughs> you know, guys with six pack working in a city on six figures, just <laughs> queuing up, you know, they're just going to go down to the next wine bar or something or click left and click. And these guys are just, you know, these high value, high yeah, oh, men are yeah. just waiting around for them. Yeah. And then they yeah. end up like say, you know something, not really, you know, actually. <laughs> just be here with my two kids. And as a mom now, 40 yard, you know, put a bit of weight on, like I used to look when I was 25, when I first met their dad and stuff like that. Mm, mm. Going back out onto that market, it's brutal out there. Yeah. It's, br- it's brutal. <laughs> oh, there'll be interest. There'll be male interest. Oh, there'll be interest. But it, for there'll the reasons that you may not night or two. agree with. There'll be a yeah. night, yeah, for a phone call. Yeah. Oh, there'll be interest, but not interest beyond like seeing you as a person, person. Mm. See what I'm trying to say? Or, investing not in you impossible, on your but I'm saying it's not as click of the finger as it might seem. Yeah, Something because that's the that's for men too. Soon. Like even the men that jump and think it's a different girl every day. I'm like, listen, brother, you hear me? It's not that because the thing you're trying to fulfill yourself with is not the way you're going about it. In most times, you know, sex becomes this obsession slightly. And I think men can get carried away with that. But there's mm. different, I'm sure, psychological reasons. Biological reasons, testosterone is just a monstrous hormone. And people that may not understand that it is a monstrous woman. I use the word monster to make people understand that same testosterone can make a man want to die for you. And that same testosterone can make a man want to kill you. It's the same element, right? Yeah, it's the same yeah, element yeah, yeah, that yeah. testosterone can do a lot. And it can do a foil. That same testosterone can make somebody. If it's baby. harnessed, if it's harnessed, we've got skyscrapers, we've got right. civilizations, we've got right. pyramids. And I got this, right. I got this theory that the leaning tower of pizza mm. and the pyramids and the Mayan temple, everything that we see from ancient civilization up to now with the skyscrapers and the train. Mm. You know, half that heterosexual men, you know, that's basically trying to show women that we're saying one. It's like impressing women. It's based mm. on hypergamy. Mm. Like, I need to be this status man. I need to do this. I will build this bridge and the engine. I know I will get yeah. the type of woman I want based yeah. on my profile and based. This is what, what yeah, like yeah. I said, the testosterone, that kind of like drives men, isn't it? Drives like, men. Drives yeah, it drives men to, to, to be want ambitious. To women, women. Mm. You want them to feel secure and feel like, yep, yeah, we're worthy. So there is that element to it as well. There is that, but now, yeah, but then back to we said jumping. Men can jump too early, or you know, it isn't the grass isn't that green as people might think when they've got a significant other that they care about, but they're just not getting what they want at that juncture. Yeah, it would seem. You, says, you, know, you said so real, yeah. This is so, so so real that that's differences. making me laugh. It's like people think they've been in relationship for like fifteen years, right? 10, 15 years. Somehow they think time has stood still outside like they don't understand in that 15 years tinder match all this there's young people out there too that might take with each other different people's fantasies so like are you pre and you've been someone for 15 years like do you even know how to date again do you understand that you've merged with somebody and you've been completely yourself that you don't even know what people are looking for you know what i'm saying i feel like people miss that they think it's the same as 15 years ago, 10 years ago. They don't understand the world is leaked. You know what I mean? So if you start dating someone in 19... Years, five years in the modern world is a long time. You know? It's Sometimes, a long time. You know what I mean? have, you, have you never walked past a, a certain place and you think, when you come back, you see some big block of flats. So you think, oh, all day, new builds. You're like, like a year ain't been up here. You know what I mean? It was some empty shrubland and you, you yeah. drive past or walk past, you know, after a year, there's I'll say a big this complex well. there. If Things I move this, on. Before I explore this part, I'm going to say this because it's my disclaimer. I'm part of a fraternity called Black Men Don't Cheat. I'm an initiate. So when I ask this question, it's just so I want 
to give my women. Not an excuse, not some reason to go bye bye, but an actual, you know, sound psychological understanding of the mind space of the male, because that's something that women are obsessed with. It's almost a deal breaker in a lot of women's situations. What pushes men to cheat, in your opinion? Mm, that's a deep question because there's so many different reasons. Um, I was talking about this last night, actually. Um, and a man, some of the more, se some of the more, that. some of the more serious reasons. That when I say, I mean, it's all serious in terms of the impact because yeah. the person on the receiving, someone gets hurt. It's mm. all serious. Yeah, it's no joke. This is this, these type of you know these behaviors cause real pain in it, like real, real, real tra traumatic pain. Yeah. In fact, yeah, yeah, literally trauma, like proper, trauma, pain. trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah can damage. As, and as, and even if it's repeat offenders, you know, like where they've given that person a chance. Mm. against all advice from the why the yeah other, from, from the crew yes, from the mom and the, everybody high standards all the female, that they yeah, care from the clan yeah. from the clan the um matriarchs have said do away with this man behead him and just, nah, because of love i'll give him another i'll let him back in and so and then the man do the, you know damage real damage but getting back to some of the reasons why i think some of the reasons why it could be to do with culture and i don't just mean culture is in ethnic culture but culture is in the culture that person was raised in Mm. Like what kind of men were they socialized around and what was was that a norm is that something that they was exposed to and that was a norm so it's like learnt behavior and they're mm. just modeling this is what men mm. do that's mm. one some people have actually been through um sexual molestation so they have some very um challenging sexual habits they've got, just like a woman that might be sexually molested mm. which is at a young age and it makes and it leads to her being promiscuous or it has affected mm. her, mm. her ideas about sex Mm -hmm. so the same thing happens to men, but lots of times, boys um, are, are um, basically, it is abuse, but we don't, you know, I'm talking in a heterosexual sense, not even like a male pedophile trouble mm -hmm. in, in, interfering with a boy, but I'm saying sometimes there's young boys that have been introduced, seen stuff, been brought into sort of sexual scenarios with older females. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, but we don't really think of it as abuse. We don't even use yeah. that. But we don't yeah, use we that don't. Word. But that's also toxic femininity. But that's a, yeah, it's, it's a, that's a female that's, that's abuse. That's abuse, and then that will affect that. That can very well have a, like a imprint on that young man's uh, that child that grows into a man's sexuality as well in terms of what sex means to him and and um, you know the ideas of certain to do with integrity and loyalty mm -hmm. and what it means to this woman and what he's sort of struggling and wrestling with and his psyche. So there's there's, there's even those kind of reasons. And some some of it is just. Wanting their cake and having it too, just not, having, dis just not having discipline. Yeah, just not having discipline, oh. having that integrity to say, you know, I kind of made, I made a contract with this person, mm. and it's I'm the same person. Integrity is about not when you're around and yeah, I believe around. in these ideas, yeah. but when you're not around, not I around. believe in these ideas based on principle, based well, on my based on the as principle. A man, my principle, not not because availability and will I get away with it, won't get away with it, but because it's not me. You know, are black, are black men hyper? Are we are we slightly hypersexual, sexual, sexually active? Are we hypersexual to a degree um, as well? Because the way we like to do this thing is is generational almost, and that's the only reason I ask. It seems to be generational. Well, I, would, I, 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 would, I would say when you want to know about a culture or civilization, you know, like you can look at politics, you can look at their economics, but look at their art, man. And if you look at our performing art, it's very sexual. Compared to others, um, I don't mean mm. it as a. It's not me throwing black people under the bus or mm. nothing. It's just being descriptive. It's, it's what it is. Like, yeah. Yeah. Our our, our our music, our art, the way that many of the dances that we have um, are erotic, and that's even with class and with taste, or with with, with ratchet and sleaze. Ratchetness. But regardless, mm. in the end of the but it is still there's a sexual. Sexual. Mm. Um, yeah, and there's sex is healthy, and sex is you know there's there's, there's, there's a healthy side of it, but then there is that ratchet and kind of. Um, does, does pornographic. sex represent to you like the, yeah is it pornographic and, and does sex represent to you like self-soothing almost like you went through stuff and like how people get food addiction or they self-medicate with alcohol are you are mm. you numbing something when you when you you know because the way even some of the language that sometimes can be yeah I don't get a beat and you're thinking like <laughs> when, you, when you listen to when you listen closely you think are you talking about, you could have just been with a doll or it don't sound like human interaction it doesn't yeah. have a human transaction it didn't yeah or relationship there's no personal touch human. to it yeah so it's like but there's you know it represents different things to different people and i think that's why i'm that's making true. that point on the no, that makes sense 
Yeah. I mean, sorry, you know the Queen's meeting, I made yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to say that. Um, and, and there's a lot of shame that's been pushed on heterosexual men about our libido, about having mm. healthy sex drive and stuff like that, right? Mm. So a lot of men are, are feeling, you know, kind of repressed or, you know, like it's, it's almost like we can't even open our mouth about about it in, in the public space and discourse, you know, men want too much sex, men sex and like, like you're fickle almost, or, mm. you know, it's just what a relationship means to you. But mm. my point was, um, and, I, and I maintain this point is that because men has that, many men have that capacity to almost like portion of themselves like a, like a mercenary. Mm. If this is a casual thing, Men can mm. be very distant and, and, and be sexual and it have no emotional mean, yeah. residue. There's no, I'm going to end up falling in love with her by accident. No, she is X in my head. I've categorized her and we just do this physical thing. Well, women can do the and same, no? I think to a lesser degree, though. I think, to, I mean, obviously there's women that are like, for example, um, uh, for example, prostitutes and stuff like that. But they always have some rules, often have rules that, like, you know, I don't kiss the John or I don't do certain things they won't allow. Yeah. But I'm saying men can just really cut themselves off i think mm. okay um, yeah and be uh, be different about that in a kind of promiscuous way that i think that m- many women don't have that capacity or not why they don't lean that way mm. they, they they care about a person they think about um they've got one womb in it and it's so that this put this relationship can possibly bring a child in it so that mm. this man has to be kind of worthy obviously there's deviations of that but sure. that's more of a starting point for a female right but i'm saying that men can cut themselves off like that but when it comes to that woman that's on the pedestal yeah the one right, that they've chosen that woman she's not any woman that woman woman yeah sex means love that's like a that's like a love language in itself touch sex that's where the man goes to like is that like going to a temple or something it's like something holy. No, women see women don't see it as that they they really look at it as like we just want to say I'm like nah this is different like it's not the same a man could have sexual encounters with plenty of women in his life until he finds the one that he wants to build a family with, then that sex is a whole different the chemicals in the brain change completely it's something different it's something, it's something different, different. It's, it's not something the same pathway of what, how they think is you're not an object you're a real living thing that they're exploring because this means more than that you know what I mean we give in, yeah. that, in that sense and I think that was powerful that you said that because I think a lot of women weren't even ready to hear that for years they've been conditioned especially by other women in the family other women friends to think like he wants to have sex six days we can have to have a job da, 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 da. but Nick never sit down and try to figure out like what what is this ask him talk to him what what's up if you don't mm. understand it that is if you're just and it's bothering you, you obviously communicate in that sense find out what's going on but and sometimes like something you mentioned earlier in the podcast which is that feeling of vulnerability doesn't always sit well especially with men as well as well as women but with us our reactions are a bit more in denialish to a degree we kind of just like now i've seen men do this all the time where now nah, man she's just uh but he's deeply in love with this girl like and you find out later on you're like what, what two 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 months ago she was just this girl but now you're in you know what i mean we, we we just start hiding how we feel and stuff like that but that's conditioning and, and other stuff like that how does safety one... as well safety that's safety, safety. or an we attempt and an attempt at safety because that thing that we call love that we can't properly define and put into words but we know if we've had those kind of feelings for a person right we know that if we felt that way about a woman as much as as fun as it is exhilarating it is as greatest thing in the world as it is it's one of the scariest things in the world because you're like mm. i am vulnerable if this you're goes both south, naked in front I'm of each other done out here. <laughs> like i'm done out here like emotionally i'm done out here for, so for that reason it's not an easy thing to run and embrace like hey this is the one this is what people kind of like be, you know, like almost like you're sliding down a, a, um, a slide, but you're kind of trying to hold. <laughs> trying to hold. You don't want to just let go and go with it. You're kind of like a bit <laughs> cautious because if this thing yeah, builds true. up speed, in your face. I could hurt yep. myself. I could fly yeah. off at the bottom and hurt myself. So with a bit, especially men, I think women are, vulnerability is easier for women. Mm. I would think, in, just in comparison, generally, obviously men and women just, just from are unique, level, not, but not. I think generally speaking, women will, find it easier to be or have that ability i think it's just a way to so i think it's socialization yeah i think yeah. it's socialization girls from a young age they talk a lot they got a lot of dialogue their friendships are based around sitting down and chatting while they're Intimacy, playing like actual, playing yeah. here and talking in the playground boys we're task orientated we don't really oriented, show much yeah. we're kind of more simple not too nuanced uh, you still friends with john he's a idiot 
I ain't gonna summarize everything. Bro, we were I ain't gonna be the first emotion. Are you friends with Sonia anymore? No, she said to me and I said to her that she came back in. They complicated. Detail. They got like Detail. sophisticated, Detail. should I say. Like, so we don't really have nah, that. That's true. But say he's an idiot. We all know exactly what this is. Yeah, just... Uh, you know what I mean? Or, or, or he's my guy, man. But it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah. Now it's true. Wait, I'm happy you said that. We're task oriented, and I think what that's. I think this is where the you know the social condition says, or you know, 